All right, guys, welcome back to the PS Series. What we have here today is some Arctic MX6, their latest thermal paste, and it's based off the MX4. So now, in this exact moment, my personal PC is running Prime 95 small FFT, and it has been running it for half an hour on my i9 11900F that I run in my daily system. Uh, it's undervolted and it's cooled by an NZXT X62 cooler with two 140mm Noctua fans on it. So it's basically the best you can get for this Manta case which I'm running. The paste that is in there right now is some Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which is considered some of the best paste out there. And it has been there for not so long actually, just six months. So what we're gonna do is just open it up, repaste it with some MX6, and see what the temperatures look like. But first, let me show you what the temperature look like now. Okay, so here we are. Temperature on my personal system reached a maximum of 90 degrees on the package. 88 degrees was the maximum core temperature detected. Prime 95, half an hour stress test. Time to slap some MX6 into it and see how they change. As you can see, perfect paste application on both sides, both on the CPU and on the cooler, and the paste is still fresh. So it will be a perfect comparison. Okay, so here we are with a proper close-up of the MX6 application. Now, what I like to do on Intel sockets is just the DOS method. So I just wanna put a single dot in the middle of the CPU, properly applied, and then in order to clean up the syringe, I just, kind of slap it around the die a bit. This doesn't impact performance in any way. I wanna show you the full process, okay. So now to reiterate, this is the paste application. The only thing that matters is the dot in the middle. Okay, so what I have done now is I closed it off properly. And now I'm running the test again, just started it. It's sitting at 74 degrees. Now we will come back in half an hour and actually see what the results are. Then I will take it apart again to show you what the paste application looks like. And then if it's not fully covered, I will correct it, close it again, rerun the test again, see if it makes a difference. Because this was quite simply dot in the middle, close it up, the end. So let's see. Okay, so case okay, panel closed, obviously, half an hour running, still running right now. And here we are with the results. Maximum temperature achieved, 85 degrees, 83 degrees on the core. So basically five degrees lower than previously. Let's cut to the conclusions. But first, let's see what the paste application looks like. So yes, I will dismount everything again, just to show you what it looks like, because it's a very important point for the conclusions. So let's go. Okay, are you seeing the application, guys? This is what the application looks like with a simple dot. This is a good thermal paste, guys. Okay, so here we are with the conclusions. Now, you've seen the results quickly, but I, of course, did some more testing now. All the tests were done with normalized fan speeds, clearly. And now I went back to it uh, and I retested with some fresh cryonaut, okay? Because again, before the repaste, the paste cryonaut had been sitting there for under six months, so it was really fresh, but still, there's a bit of a difference with the new paste, so I just reapplied it, tested it. And then, of course, I put, again, some MX6 and I will tell you why in a few seconds. So the results were as follows. Initial performance was 90 degrees, okay, maximum temperature under full load. And it was achieved with Cryonaut after six months of use. I went back to it, tested with new fresh Cryonaut, 88 degrees, okay. Tested with MX6, fresh, applied. You've seen the application, just a dot right there, 85 degrees. So it's three degree lower than Thermal Grizzly. Now, percentage wise, that's very little, but still three degrees lower. Now, what you see here, I have quite a bit of different kind of pastes and these are the four that I have used the most. Well first of all I want to get out of the way MX6 is a great paste guy okay? and all of these are actually pastes that I would recommend to you but here is how my thought process goes in terms of recommendation. Okay? So what I have here on the table is Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut which a ton of people use in the industry Gamers Nexus and it's some high performance paste it's expensive paste and it's some good paste but I haven't had the best experience with this thing on bare diet. Now I do quite a bit of deleting and not all the time do I apply liquid metal on it. Very often actually on older i5s and i7s I apply some thermal paste but basically with this one a couple of times 
I found it wasn't really adhering properly. It was doing a good job, but not as good as MX4. Now, MX4, some really good paste. Again, I do recommend this one. It really works well. And honestly, I think it was the best value paste of the ones, let's say, easily accessible. Now, a couple years back, back in 2019 approximately, I saw a video from Brian from Tekia City. He recommended some GD900. And now, at the time, this paste was extremely cheap. It was like half the price of MX4. So I just stocked up. I bought like, I don't know, like 100 grams of paste back in the day. Cost me like 50 bucks. But they have since upped their prices. So every PC build I make, I use this thing in everything that's not high performance. And I do it because it's cheap and it's, it spreads exactly the same as MX4. And now spreading is very important, okay? Because the reason why I showed you the footage of me going back again dismounting the pc just to show you what the paste application of mx6 was like is that i just did a little bit of a dot then just put the paste around randomly like anybody could do i didn't really apply a particular force when closing the cooler just slap it on top of it and it came out spread perfectly that's something that's really important for me it's ease of use okay and i really like the viscosity of mx6 as i do of mx4 and as i do of GD900, they have the same viscosity. I didn't really like the MX5 from Arctic because it was difficult to spread, even though it was a very good space performance-wise. And now Thermoglizzi falls into the category of these that are a bit more granular, at least in my opinion. So what I recommend for everyone is from now on MX6. I think it's the best space on the market, honestly. I think value-wise, it's really good. I actually checked the prices on Amazon. I couldn't believe them. With five bucks, you can buy this thing. It's just two grams, but it's enough for like two PCs with the GPU as well. Really good. It's my recommendation, personally. I really think that every paste over a certain price point, well, the premium paste, but I've tried them all. They're all good. But I really like when a paste is easy to apply and it works well, both on the CPU, on the GPU, and on bare dies on CPU. For that reason, I think the MX6 is a very good paste. I do recommend it. I will be running it. On my main PC, CPU and GPU as well. As soon as I get some thermal pods, I will replace the GPU as well. Make a video about it. I really like it. So I think this is it. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know if you have a different opinion. And let me know if you would like me to try something else. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>